Hello YouTube, this is Beedrew1111, GamerTag Beedrew93, and today's video is going to be about GDC. Now it's one of the first videos that has been uh, leaked um, with Phil Spencer talking. The video itself was about, phew, has to have been about, um, try and block the light, <laughs> it has to be, has to have been about at least like 40 plus minutes long, probably range near the 50 minute mark. And, um, and yeah, I went through it and I've basically made bullet points, like the main bits um, that like, I found really interesting. And, um, and I'm just going to break, I'm just, I've broken it down for you, I'm just going to go through each bullet point and talk about what Phil Spencer was talking about on his, um, on the stage for this particular segment. Um, uh, it was very interesting, a lot of cool stuff. Um, some stuff, I'll be honest, I didn't fully understand, but I have bullet pointed it anyway for people who do understand it. But he did mention like Xbox Live, cross-platform gaming, DirectX 12, and those are the things that I've been longing to hear about, and it was very, very interesting. But I will go through them. Um, certain, certain points in particular, especially the ones I um, understand the most, <laughs> I'll probably have my opinion while going through the bullet points, but for others, for those of you who um, don't know, uh, for those of you that do know, um, you'll understand it more than I do. But it was very, very interesting either way. To begin, he did start it by basically just saying, in year 2000, so 15 years ago, on that very stage, GDC 2000, was the day they announced the Xbox original. Now I find that to be a very, very cool um, like fact in itself. Like To open up with that on stage is incredible. So 15 years ago to that day, was the original Xbox, like, you know, unveil, if you will, like, blanket, like, taken over it, like, look all so, that's amazing. Um, very early on, he dropped the VR hint, virtual reality, um, he didn't really go into much detail, he did talk about HoloLens at the line, but, um, he dropped, he was dropping little hints, like, the VR, he mentioned the Elite Dangerous, the new game exclusive to Xbox One, and now they've announced a partnership with Frontier, it is coming out on the Xbox One exclusively this summer. Um, to go on, he was he basically made the point of saying, our goal is to allow you to play your games, the games you have purchased, that you own, whenever and wherever you want. Multi-platform, Xbox, PC, Surface tablets, laptops, wherever you are, as long as you've got that, as long as you, basically their goal is if you buy a game, that game is yours, and whatever you choose to wherever you choose to play it is your prerogative. And that was a very insightful thing, and he elaborated loads on it. Um, the games you own, you can play on any device, wherever you are. That's the quote he had to say for them on the stage. Uh, Phil has been the head of Xbox for one year now, and uh, his goal from the beginning was to bring gaming back to Windows 10. So as well as making the Xbox the most amazing premium network, the most innovative console, and bring us everything that we've seen the last year, because I think he's done a fantastic job personally, but also his main goal was to bring gaming back as a core element in the Windows 10 spectrum. Because um, Windows 10, like he, like he said, lost its way in the gaming, in the gaming side of things, it, and now he's trying to bring it back. And with Windows 10, Microsoft, Xbox, Xbox Live, cross-platform, he basically had this to say, um, they're going to they're gonna make it one core operating system between them all, one app platform, so Xbox Live to connect all devices, one gaming social network, Xbox Live, one store, so one unit, these are universal now, you, one universal store for all devices, so say you buy Fable Legends, it's going to be available on Surface Pro, laptop, PC, Xbox, on all devices. And one ingestion path. I don't know what that is, to be perfectly honest with you, but for those of you who do, I've made a note. One ingestion path all over all platforms. He went on to say about universal apps in general over the whole thing of Xbox Live. Assuming some of them like music, messaging, chat, party chat, things like that. Apps that like... It doesn't matter what um, platform um, device you're on, you can still you're all in you're all on Xbox Live as a whole. Um, invest in, our investment in Windows Store is the highest it's ever been. Games are the number one form of entertainment with Windows 10. That is our primary focus, as well as loads of other things, of course. But games are the number one, so that's nice to hear. Once again, Phil, you're the man. Games, 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 keep it coming. Xbox Live. Uh, he had a lot. He had a few things to say regarding Xbox Live, 
um, he, he, and he wanted to basically say to all these game developers, we want to make it available for any games developer to create games and make them make Xbox Live bigger and better, cross-platform, make it more interesting, make, make broaden the spectrum basically. So when game developers are making their games, they can keep in mind that Xbox Live is growing across multi-plat and it's, it just make, I, I imagine for a games developer that is very exciting stuff. Um, make it available for any game. Direct X12. Now he uh, he had a lot to he, he when he said those words like talk, starting to talk about Direct X12. I belong in. I've been long into here what he has to say. He did go on to say that they're going to have like a separate talk on Direct X12, like like maybe a forty odd minute long talk on stage just solely on Direct X12. But still, he did have a few things to say. Um, he was basically saying that um, for game developers, it'll make games a lot easier to develop. Um, applications a lot easier to develop and he was on about how beautiful the graphics are and he also went on to say that as for super CPU improvements they've already seen a 50% increase in CPU that's already so what Brad Wardell said about 300 to 500% maybe we will see that in the future but at the moment he, we, we have heard it loud and clear from Phil Spencer himself that we are seeing a 50% increase already and a 20% GPU increase on the hardware. So that's some impressive stuff from DirectX 12 already, and for if it is gonna get, I'm content with that, but if it is gonna get any better, why not? Um, but yeah, making games easier, they shown off Unreal Engine 4. There was a demo trailer, I'm pretty sure, um, after this video, after you've watched this video, go onto YouTube, type in Unreal Engine 4, Unreal Tournament demo trailer where they basically Epic Studios show off Unreal Tournament and in the, the beautiful new Unreal Engine 4 graphics with DirectX 12. Because um, it basically went on to say that the Unreal Engine and DirectX 12 go hand, that they've been using DirectX 12 to make some of the most beautiful visuals you'll ever see. And this um, trailer I'm on about shows it. Please go check it out. Um, Universal Development Center. Uh, he said something about that. I'm not sure what that meant entirely, but I've made a note of it. Um, Hololens. He went on to say about Hololens. Um, while I do, um, while I have mentioned Hololens, um, I can't remember the gentleman's name, but um, I just like to say R.I.P. You know, rest in peace um, to the. I think it was the project designer. Um, he got killed in a hit and run yesterday or the day before yesterday. Um, not that I know. It, I, I I feel stupid now for not making a note of it. This is quite spontaneous. But um, to hear that he passed away, like to to, un for, to underground be making such a beautiful piece of machinery like Hololens, to finally unveil it at the Windows 10 conference must have been a highlight in this man's life. And now he sadly passed away, a hit and run apparently. And um, yeah, very very sad news to say the least. So to all of his family and friends and people at Microsoft. You know, my heart goes out to you, and and I apologise. I can't remember the name, but still, nevertheless, my thoughts, you know, are with you, and and uh, um, and I'm really sorry to hear that. But um, on to Hololens in itself. Phil Spencer said Hololens has a hell of a lot of capabilities. Um, he he thinks it's going to do so many things, but gaming is going to be critical. So that's a nice thing to hear because they didn't actually say that in the Windows 10 conference about gaming. I know we saw a little bit of Minecraft, but he's saying gaming is going to be critical. So that just broadens the, you know, that that for me creates so many possibilities in my brain. Like, like oh, bloody hell, like I've said to people that, like, games like Halo, Call of Duty, first person shooters, they could really take a, take over this. And um, I was even saying on a podcast, the zombie podcast, me and Max, um, me and Max, <laughs> that's my baby boy, uh, me and Chris um, on the, um, the zombies podcast a few weeks ago, it'd be wicked if they utilised HoloLens, like House of the Dead, the game House of the Dead, but in your house. So many, and uh, a game I used to play years ago, Arcadia, which was like um, a projection that, like, in, the, in a dark room that projected like planes and you shot them down. That would be cool if they adapted that with HoloLens. Gaming could be incredible with HoloLens. Um, but yeah, he did say, he made the point of saying that games are already being made with HoloLens and we'll be seeing more and more information on it in the year, year and the years to come. So that's exciting. Um, but basically, he did make a bold statement. He, he cut himself in half, really, and basically just said, none of this matters, though. Everything I've just said, none of this matters. All this Windows 10, cross-platform, HoloLens, DirectX 12, none of this matters. 
unless we have great games. Which, yes, again, Phil, you're the man. Bring it on. I love it. Games, games, games. We want the best games for our platform. Cross-device multiplayer. And we just want to broaden the spectrum. We want to make it the most fluid experience possible. Um, Phil brought... Chris Charla, Mike Meeker, and then Tre and Tricia Gray on the stage to demonstrate crossplay, crossplay, sorry, between the Surface Pro and Xbox One. So uh, with iDarb, that was pretty impressive to see. You had one, and they were all using the controller as well, which, by the way, Phil mentioned about an adapter. So basically, whatever whatever device you're on, whether it be a Surface Pro, PC, um, Xbox One, tablet, whatever. Um, a laptop, whatever, you plug this adapter in and you can use your controller on any of these um, platforms, um, on these devices, sorry. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, they've shown off um, the, the cross-platform with iDub and it was so fluid and apparently they said it was so easy to do. Um, they thought it was going to be such a hard... They, apparently, this cross-platform thing they're doing with Windows 10 has made life so much easier for these people because now they don't have to rewrite code. Um, for a separate game for like a PC or a tablet. They literally just da -da 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 -da, do their thing, like, uh, like you know, a little bit more complex than that, obviously. But apparently to make a game cross-platform is so much easier than rewriting whole new games. So that so that's kind of good, because the more the less time they're spending recoding games is the more time they have to spend on making the games incredible. That's all I took from that anyway. Um, Phil brought, yeah, yeah, I said that, <laughs> um, so Idea Xbox, Chris, um, the Chris guy stayed on stage for a little bit and everyone went off but this um, Chris uh, Charla guy uh, from Idea Xbox and he basically just went on to say that 40 games have been shipped for the Xbox One um, with Windows 10, a, a thousand plus independent developers have Xbox One dev kits, 20 new games announced and we're expanding to Windows 10 devices with all of these games, so that's exciting. All there's so many games coming out ready for this Windows 10 cross devices. Ah, oh, it looks incredible, guys. I can't really wait. A lot of people are a bit skeptical, but I can't wait. It's Xbox Live at the end of the day. I'm a gamer. I want growth. I want to have more people to play with, and it's more diverse. You'll get to know more people, and and it's collaboration. It's brilliant. I think it's fantastic. Um, a lot of these games are being utilised day one cross-platform with Windows 10, so Chris had to, what, that's what Chris had to say. He basically said that like, a lot of these games like iDab was like what you would think would take a long time for them to write a game to, you, to be used over multiple platforms, oh, multiple devices, sorry, not platforms, um, is a lot easier than they anticipate. Apparently it takes like maybe a day to get it up and running, so that's brilliant. Um, a lot easier. Microsoft is the, yeah, one of the people that was being interviewed in one of their videos basically said Microsoft is the only company that can u unify PC, Xbox and other devices um, um, as it's the only one with multiple gaming platforms and that's true. Microsoft as a company has PC gaming, you, t uh, you know, PC gaming, console gaming, tablet gaming, Surface Pro, like like all the application, it's the only company in this in the gaming industry at the moment that has all of these different um, um, divisions, and now they're bringing it together to make the one big division. Like Sony has only got PlayStation, Nintendo Wii has only got the Nintendo, and then and then PC gamers with Steam and stuff. That well, they're only on their PC at the end of the day. Um, but now with Xbox Live going with Microsoft all round. It's, it's it's amazing. These Microsoft is the only people that can be doing this, and it's and it's a nothing can contend with it. It's pretty impressive. Um, all right, we're nearly finished here, guys. Um, they've shown off a few games like Shovel Knight, like one of their indie titles. Um, Battle Toads um, for anyone who likes Battle Toads. I know Microbox watching this hopefully would will and will be very excited. Battle Toads uh, made an appearance in the Shovel Knight's trailer. Um, a few games were demoed. Um, and then Chris had his little goodbye and then Phil came back on the stage and he basically um, ended on a few things basically explaining about the wireless adapter for the controller um, a, g a game by Mutiga um, is being um, called Gigantic um, it's a lot like Fable Legends basically um, four player co-op against like hordes of enemies and stuff at least that's what it looks like from the trailer check it out Gigantic by Mutiga I'm sure there's a trailer on YouTube somewhere and um, basically four player co-op online cross-platform game it's another cross-platform game 
um, announced for all for both platforms, PC and Xbox, so you can play between the two. And it looks pretty cool. It looks a lot like Fable Legends, a more of a cartoony feel to it. And animals, it's got animals in it, like birds and a, a, like a, a bull and. And um, I think there was an owl in there, but it was quite cool. It was—it looked really interesting. A very good take on a game, and I, I certainly would like to play it. It looks very colourful, and looks beautiful. It looks really, really um, arty, like artistic. Um, but yeah, they, they announced that, and um, and Phil basically said, um, "I think it's a—it's great that we invest in all these new IPs and utilise it for the new platform." Um, and we want to grow, we want to invest in our new vision across devices. And that's about it, guys. I mean, like, basically, all of that, such great information. Basically, Phil just bringing it home. Like, he, I, think, I think he's just set the tone. Because he did say there's going to be, like, maybe 15 more talks, like, throughout GC, GDC. Um, I imagine there'll be a few, like, solely on certain things, like Universal Apps, DirectX 12... Um, idea Xbox. There'll probably be a few individual ones to go into more detail, but he pretty much just laid it out for us, like what we're going to be seeing in the future. And it's exciting times, guys. And that was a brilliant video. I'll put the link to, for it in the description, but you have to watch it. It is fantastic. But I hope this was helpful, guys. Um, I tried to break it down the best I could. But, um, but man, I mean, from what I could understand from it, because I'm not the most technical person, Phil Spencer is the man, and Xbox is the platform. Xbox Live is is the way to go, and there's a huge future ahead for <clears throat> Microsoft in general and Xbox in general and everything. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.